Hey everyone. Hi. I hope everybody's having a lovely day. So I have some beef, the shaved beef steak right here. And I got this one from Aldi. This is the rest of the shaved beef I have. I'm gonna rinse it off and I'm gonna start preparing my lasagna for the day. I am also gonna cut up an onion to add to this because onion adds great flavor along with the garlic and figure out what seasonings I'm gonna use. Thank you. I'm going to wait for my water to roll and, roll and boil, but I'm gonna add the pink salt while it does that and I'm going to add my pasta. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna start by cooking the shaved beef. Here's the shaved beef, already nice and like this, see how it is. Turn it down a little if you need to, but mine's on like two, three. Shaved beef doesn't take long to cook at all. I'm gonna make a cheesy sauce as well with the cream cheese. If you want your beef to taste, um, you know, a little bit more on the beef side, add a bouillon cube. What I'm going to do is add the caramelized onion butter. To add to it, just a little. The onion powder, add your um, paprika. I got the Italian seasoning in, in there as well. Um, so yeah, anything to boost up that flavor, Italian seasoning, and just go with that. I'm going to add in my garlic right now and add in my onions as well as the meat's cooking. Just don't forget to separate it. And I'm going to add my noodles as well. But yeah, add the flavor now cook on low, season, add the onions, and add the garlic. So. Cook them onions up in here. This is the lovely, it's the part I love, onions. Garlic. out that flavor. You don't have to season it too much with salty products. So, so turn it up just a little and let that onion cook. And over here, as I transition, over here, that's a little salty water. It's boiling very well, but I'm going to do, I have one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven noodles. I'm going to put them in there and let that just boil. Since the meat is all dried up, I'm going to add this, which is the cream cheese, so that it won't be so dry. And then I'm going to add cheese as well in here. But yeah, add your cream cheese and break it down. Let the cream cheese melt kind of like in here first and then I'll mix it up. So, I am making lasagna rolls. So this is gonna be beef lasagna rolls. Allow the cream cheese to just set. This is, is such, a, such an exciting meal. I've never made lasagna rolls. I don't eat beef, but I love steak. I haven't eaten ground beef in a little minute, so I don't go out of my way to buy that. But I mean, man, y'all, if this successful, try it out. Let me see if I need to add water or not. Guys, so here is my filling with the cream cheese right here. Um, I decided to add a little bit of cheese to the mix. So what I'm going to do is add a little cheese in my mix, other than the cream cheese that I have. Just to give it that flavor. Because cream cheese is very bland. And then you can just add a little salt in here if you want. Just a pinch of salt, of course. Just to elevate that flavor. This is how it looks. I'm going to take one of these rolls and see if I can lay it down. This is the salt that I like.
So this is the, see if I can maybe make this very successful or if I'm gonna have to make it into lasagna. Little by little, okay. Okay, not bad. This is a cheese, this is like cheesy sauce and the meat as well. So it looks like chicken, but this is the beef. See if I can roll this up successfully. Very messy. Just be careful, of course. Add more if you need to. Like I would say add a thin layer as you go down. So right here, add a thin layer on the edges. Make sure it's not pouring out and nicely roll. <clears throat> Whatever falls out, that's okay because you can use it for the next one. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is just add a little Whatever falls out to the sides, that's okay. Add it to the end product. Whatever falls out on the sides, that's all right. Add it to the next one. So it's kind of messy, but you gotta work with it. I am absolutely in love so far with what I'm seeing with this meal. It's messy, but it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I'm going to continue to roll up the rest of them and little by little, so thin layer. And what I'm going to do is end up putting some cheese on top of this with some parsley, but I have to keep rolling them. That's how it looks. Thank you. Let me continue to roll all of this. All right. So here's the lasagna rolls. I kind of ran out of beef mixture. So the only one that's not filled with beef mixture is this one right here. Sit it in the oven for the next about 10 minutes or so until the um, cheese starts to melt. So here we go as I dive into these a little more. Again, the reason why they look a little, um, the white and the beef is not looking like beef is because I added cream cheese to that mix. And I think that this is divine, guys. Bye. You can broil a little more if you want to. If you don't want it hard, don't, don't continue that.